All right, what do we have here? A stump? Stump is breaking down. Anyway, what the hell happened? Crypto Vlog, February 9th, 2023. Bringing you the top Vlog of the week out here. We skipped three days. Why did we skip three days? I'm telling you why. I became a god, a crypto god. I became the god of longing tops, the god of losing money. How did I do it? Well, I <clears throat> I contracted something called the Comfy Curse. If you don't know who Comfy is, uh, then you're not in the crypto insider groups. Comfy is in every insider group in Discord. Anyway, so the Comfy Curse is when your TP, your target, is 1% to 5% away. Instead of just market selling when it looks like it, the price action has topped, or the momentum's gone, then you get the retest and you don't sell because you're still one to 5% away, you hold. You take a 20 to 50% drawdown. That's the comfy curse. And then I was anointed by the crypto gods, the god of longy tops and the god of losing money in crypto. So I only lost about 50,000, but this loss is your gain. An exciting $50,000 worth of vlogs. Sorry, I want to get up this hill. Be okay so uh yeah i only lost 50k chance i go down another 50k so that would be 100k so we'll bring the negative 100k pnl vlog maybe this week i don't think i don't know if we crash tomorrow so we've already sort of bled out it's funny you zoom out and we're down like alter down 10 or 20 percent AI alts are down like 30%. Yeah, and they like Ajax went crazy to 66.8 or 0668. No, no, 66.8 cents. It started at like 04 cents. So it had, what, a 30x pump? No. Uh, ah, I can't believe 15x or so. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, the trick with leverage is you keep adding margin every time the market drops. You keep adding margin and margin until at that point, the point you say, I cannot add, add any more margin. That's when you get liquidated and that's when you correct. That's why I don't mind being 50K down, 100K down, because I know I'll have a balance. Is it going to take me back up to zero to net neutral? No, of course not. But I can ride that train until I go back down again. Then we get another minus 50K VLOG. Uh, the market's healing though. We had a crazy pump. Bitcoin did three consecutive three days. So if you zoom out on the chart, you push the three day, the 3D, uh, you get the price action or the candles over three days. And we had nine straight days, not nine, three straight three day sequences candles of red market. So the market's red. What does that mean for you and me? Well, generally most people are net long at all times. Very rarely do you have a market where people are net short. Uh, I think they do have those in the stock market. That's that's more of like a hedge market. You trade volatility and things like, like the VIX and the inverse VIX. Anyway, so, uh, but that's not, that's not being short. It's just trading volatility. Uh, yeah, SPX 500 is just hanging around. Just it, it had the retest of 40, 170 in the SPX on Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday was just a bleed out. But we only went down to like 41.15 or so, and we, we opened, we bounced really weird. We bounced a couple hours before market opened, maybe an hour before, and then we bled out, of course. 4150 to 4120. Something like that. Um, yeah, so we had a balance a rally. If you have a margin account or just your Binance account, whatever, and you're holding spot or futures positions, you can see your balance. And if you're net long, the market's just gonna follow uh, your balance, and your balance is gonna follow the market. So you can actually, if you look at the chart, you can actually do a little TA on the, your PL graph if you're net long. So when it, it looks like it's curving down, you just sell 
I mean, of course, you could sell too early and it could curve back up, but the trend, the short-term trend, sorry, the short-term trend is down. That means we're going down, down like you're low going, seeing how low, how low can we go? We're going under. Then I'm going under the bar like this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and you just gotta celebrate when you lose money. Because why would you be miserable? Unless being as miserable helps you fix your errors. What are my errors in leverage? Uh, no stop losses. Stop losses are for bear markets, not echo markets. The problem is echo bubble top, you need a stop loss. And what happened to sand? GCR hinted at, you can tell when the market's topped by the way the listings and news catalysts perform, they fully retrace. We might get a full retrace on sand. I don't remember where it started. I think around 74 cents and we're at 78. So almost there, we topped at 94. Uh, 94 to 78. Four more pennies to go, we can do it. About 5%, I believe in. And what, what's heating up? Well, we had NFTs heating up this last week. Of course, we had the micro caps going crazy. When Vlado did 3X, uh, I can talk about Psy too. Psy did PSI, went from $1.43 Public sale, all the way to seven dollars, maybe seven twenty. And the problem with when something goes five x, you have big whales that are just selling hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, one of my viewers actually didn't sell; it's just holding. So thank you for not dumping this down to back to a dollar or two bucks. Uh, anyway, uh, they also had NFTs, the pseudo krakens, which are doing all right. But once the game comes out, a lot of times the hype. Is bigger than the game so this is a, a new dynamic we had play to earn move to earn and now this is pvp so gamble to earn i forgot the the definition or the term that they use the catchphrase but it could be uh something else oh we got a dog coming dog coming oh it's okay i see dogs all the time i'm not afraid so uh so yeah so that's why PSI introduced a new, whenever we have a new concept in crypto and it starts to gain traction, it tends to pump hard. So we had that 5X pump in a PSI. Really nice. Oh, look at this dog. He's a Husky Shepherd or something. Can't really see him. It's small. So, uh, here, comes. here he comes. Oh, he's a, yeah, Shepherd, actually. I don't know if he has any Husky. You gonna play with him? <laughs> Zeus! Okay? No! Nope. Nope. Zeus! Zeus, come on! Come on, Zeus! Come on, bro! Okay. So, yeah, he's a little big, and I don't know if he's fixed or not. A lot of male dogs, even if they're neutered, they don't like dogs that aren't neutered. So it's like a power thing, a beta alpha thing going on. Uh, like a dude that's super muscular and buff and he gets all the ladies. You say, oh, I hate that guy. It's kind of, it's called the tall poppy uh, phenomenon or whatever. So when someone rises through the ranks of society and you're still either average or at the bottom, either in crypto and someone makes millions, billions of dollars, and you're like, oh shit, he's not so special. Oh, he's dumb tweeting again. He's tweeting those stupid emojis. Oh, another PL freaking chart. Anyway, that's called the it's all poppy. So, uh, yeah, because we know it takes hard work to, be, to get that high. And all you can do, it takes no work to look up to someone that's better than you and say, oh, they're not so tough. They're not so big. Oh, uh, Tom Brady and Giselle, they lost uh, half a billion, even though the number was closer to like 30 or 70 million on FTX when they run. Because they were investors in the actual stock, or the private equity in FTX exchange, which was worthless. Not but they're coming back. If Suzu can come back, they raised their 25 million, we're coming back. Anyway, so a lot of people, this is just two days, three days of correction. Uh, actually, I had three, three by three, nine days, 24K, but it's more like, uh, yeah, six days. Anyway, so I said I was gonna hold, and when you hold leverage, you, 
become the victim of volatility, that downside volatility, which you don't want. I've been saying to de-risk since the beginning of January. De-risk, de-risk. The second week of January, I said de-risk before CPI. That got front run, mega pumps. Then I said de-risk uh, before FOMC. Boom. We we pumped. That was sort of the exit pump Tesla and FOMC last week. Was that last week or two weeks ago? Oh, last week. It's February 1st. And it's February 9th. Sorry. A little winded. I feel a little sick. I didn't sleep much the last three days. Yeah, the problem with being le leveraged is you lose your focus. You lose your, your sense of freedom and identity because you're stuck in these underwater positions. You think, oh, my life has little value. And then say you, you lose all your money. You use 90% of everything. 99% in some cases. You have nothing. You had millions. You got addicted to leverage, which, which is a very serious addiction. Actually, I think Singapore has some rehab clinics for gamblers and uh, crypto traders, stock market traders. Uh, actually, GCR hinted at that, I think, at the beginning of 2022, January or so, that uh, he, would, he wouldn't mind investing in rehab clinics for leverage traders and gamblers. Anyway, yeah, it, it, it got so crazy. Just on Tuesday, I said, I did a 24-hour session. I said, when is the market going to nuke? And then Wednesday morning, boom. I'm like, I can't take this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I had like two or three cups of water in the last three days. And then boom, there's our correction. Uh, it's like an infection. It feels really sick. The market's going down. Anyway. Um, what are we at, 11? We're going really fast. A lot of topics. So we talked about Psy. Okay, what's heating up? NFTs are heating up. AI sort of fizzled out. We had the Sand Metaverse Saudi. It's actually a repost. Not a repost, but they had the partnership with uh, Dubai in May, but no one cared. Because uh, the market didn't care. If the market doesn't care, then the news won't pump. It's simply a matter of how the, the market is. Um, briefly, I'll talk about GFT or Gifto, which is actually a December, I think, uh, 2017 I, IEO, or the first launch pad on Binance, the first or second one. I th we also have Bread. So Gifto might have been the first one, Bread the second one, or... Maybe Brett was the first one. I don't know. But it sold out in one minute. They raised like $18 million, $6 million. Went to uh, Binance users. One minute, they raised the funds. And now you have like three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. In 2019, when they did the IEO season, it came back. It actually wasn't called initial exchange offer. They just called it launch pads, which is basically the same thing as IEO. Uh, just rebranded. They always rebranded. Chaz, I can talk about Chili's, that pump. What a dumb tweet. They said, uh, tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. But what the hell? It pumped from 14 cents to 18 cents. Uh, Chaz, come on. As soon as I went bullish on Chaz, we dumped. A lot of people along the top, though. I think DCL tweeted at the top. Not his best tweet, but he makes up for it with things like CFX, uh, Confex, and... Conflux and uh, GFT, yeah. So I was just talking about GFT. So um, it came back. It was like one cent in December, and then people are like, a Dirk DJ said, "Buy uh, you buying Gifto for Christmas?" The meme, the gifting meme, gift giving meme pump, and I'm like, "No, market's dead. Why would I buy Gifto?" And of course, it doubled by January. And then six and a half cents. And then January 12th, they posted a medium saying they're going to do the, the token swap to BSC chain. And of course, when they do the token swap to BSC, Binance gets involved because they love BSC. It's actually Binance chain, Binance smart chain. Uh, and they were also doing a, a re-token house vibration because if you don't get a new token symbol from... GTO, GTO to GFT, then you're not going to pump. So they got a new a new ticker, and it got sent. Did Nano, when Nano rebranded to uh, Xi, Z, X, X token, X something, did they pump? No, not really. That's weird. Maybe 20%. But just the market wasn't bullish enough for a rebrand pump. So Gifto, actually, they announced Gifto went to about 3.5 cents. When Binance announced it was creeping up all week from two and a half to three and a half, and then it dumped back down to like 
2.3 cents or so. Um, January 5th. Ow! Sorry, that was like... I just stepped on a rock. What did I step on? Oh, yeah, this I think is actually a piece of metal. Not good, luckily. I got a... Might be due, like six years ago, I had a... Uh, tetanus or shot, or T-DAP as well. I had both, I had tetanus and then six months later I got the T-DAP all in one bundle. So I'm pretty good against infections. It usually lasts about 10 years, but they seem to have a booster every five or so. So I'm due for a booster. And uh, the shock, like I saw a glass and then I stepped into the shark with that glass, it didn't hurt that much. Uh, okay. Can I, so Gifto got listed after bleeding out January 15th to February 4th, 5th? No, they announced on February 4th. And then the listing was February 7th. Mm, no, February 8th. <clears throat> In the early morning. And it got sent from... So Binance takes like the price when they froze the tokens, the initial graph, even though there's no liquidity there. So like 2.8 cents or 2.68 cents. It got sent all the way to 18 something cents. So crazy six X, uh, no, eight X pump or so. Am I wrong there? Yeah, something like that. Um, oh, two and a half, maybe seven X. Um, and just, how do you hold it? How do you hold that long? Uh, DCL started scaling out at like eight cents, from eight cents to 16. So DCL, dark crypto, the lady made oh, probably over 100,000 if you have a crazy pump like so 7X. Um, yeah, I had a dream. This guy was undercover. He's like, I'm gonna show you the pumps in exchange for drugs. It's one of those crazy dreams. Just when you're sick of I'm about to be liquidated and you fall asleep, you finally sleep knowing that you're either gonna get liquidated or the market's gonna bounce. We bounce a little, you fall asleep. And then you have some crazy dreams. So they were undercover though. They wanted me to buy the drugs. I knew they were undercover. Just to get in on the pumps. I didn't want that pump. Sorry. Okay, and the final thing is, wow, we're talking about everything in one part? Yeah, the Chaz pump tomorrow and then they announced Chaz point two and it went from 16 cents uh, dry fist, the bald man. There's actually another bald man I can talk about briefly. Uh, bald Brian. Oh, that's what I was talking about, Bald Brian. Um, I knew a guy on the radio named Bald Brian. And then we had Brian Armstrong who was bald. So that's why I got strong like Bull mixed up with Bald Brian. Uh, Bull still has a, a little bit of hair left. Uh, yeah, so uh, Dreyfus, bald, bald Man number two. Uh, said Chaz 2.0 is coming, the Ch Chaz chain, get ready, all this stuff. And then Korea is getting involved. They might have a Korean fan token, either gaming or sports. Sorry, buddy. And got sent from 16 to 18, and then that was the top, uh, 17 more 9 cents. And then back down to about 15.5, where it is, no, 14.9, where it is now. Damn, we're bleeding out. Sand's bleeding out. Doge is bleeding out, 86 cents. 86 and a half. Oh, 86 cents. It's crazy, all the, this bloodletting. But well, we need it. The market needs to heal. Because that's what happened. The market healed from August through December, four months of healing, and then we had the echo. We had the June echo. From the April heal, we had the April echo. But nothing was as big as the January echo we just had. So it's nice for, a, I wouldn't mind three, three or four months bleed and then one month echo, I, that's, a, that's a nice trade off, right? The market loves echoes, as GCR said. So, uh, up bit listed Aster in a pump from about six and a half cents to uh, nine and a half cents. No, I went to 9.8 cents on Binance. It only went to nine and a half, 9.58 cents on Bybit perps. But Bybit's uh, really bad because you can only max long 33,000, um, which is about $2,500 worth of Aster. So crazy up bit punt, but there wasn't a lot of follow through. It did hold eight and a half cents, even with the dump of Bitcoin to 22.35K. So that was nice. Uh, 
yesterday Brian Armstrong said, hey, uh, guess what? Guess what? I'll tell you what. Uh, we got some news from the SEC that we're uh, no longer being able to offer staking products to our customers. But uh, very few, not very few, but uh, compared to the institutional KYC customers, it's just the retail, the individuals that aren't being allowed to use uh, Coinbase Stake Deep, CBeth. But what happened to Lido and LDS, Narrative, uh, we had FIS, FXS, and of course Chess Pumped with the Korean influencer and Tick, because uh, that's BSC. Uh, staked, staking. So, a lot of pumps. Anchor, of course, had that pump. Nice bounce at 20%, and then it bled out. A little, we do a little retracing when Marcus bad, but LDO went to 299, which is cool. Then I dumped to 240. Then it popped again to 280. Then it dumped again, so around 250. So, a lot of these pumps are retracing, which is showing you the market's healing, the market's a bit weak. It's tired of being bull, people are tired. But what happens when the market's tired? NFTs. ETH NFTs, but the problem is ETH NFTs are sort of played out already. I mean, we might have, we should, we should get volume there. I look at the water. ETH NFTs, but um, with that volume, it's it's not gonna last too long. It has to come from the alt market. So people are trying to find alts. Not gonna have the mega pumps as liquidity flows from alt profits into because it flowed from bitcoin profits into all profits now it's flowing into nfts it did flow into the the micro caps on the swap bsc arbitrum avex but now we got a little nft pump pudgies just cannot break six ETH, whatever happens and they had a record number of sales yesterday i think around 300 pudgies were sold 2500 ETH volumes crazy but they're back down just can't stay above six ETH because what happened well, uh, I didn't talk about checks. Checks went actually hit 2.5 something ETH, which is about 4K. And uh, if you don't check yourself, you get wrecked. No, you didn't buy checks at one ETH. Actually, gold bought it at one ETH. The mint was actually 0 0.0077 ETH, about uh, eight or nine dollars at the time in January 4th. And in just a month, it only did. 5,000 X, incredible, 5,000 X. Doesn't that sound nice? Tell your uh, tell your kids, hey, guess what? This coin did, sorry, 500 X. Doesn't sound as good as 5,000 X. But 500 X, it's good. X like Mex and checks. And, and Lex, anyway. Um, back. So now what's going on? So people are like, oh, the single mint NFTs that pump like crazy that are all the same. Unlimited supply for 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. Now we had Kab Kabosu, Kabosu, uh, which is the name of the Doge. I think he died. Did he die a few weeks ago? Maybe he didn't. He was really sick. Maybe he didn't die, but he is sick regardless. Uh, I think he died in December. I'm not sure. So uh, the creator of dot o g dot o -G dot e was the creator it might be the kabosu's mom or or not but anyway i i bought a few of those it's probably going to be over by the time just just whatever the single mint era has shifted again we had checks that sort of started the era of pumps but each additional nft mint single mint unlimited supply for 24 hours got lower and lower and now bitcoin nfts finally what we've all been waiting for bitcoin nfts mega pumps so I'll start out with what the hell are Bitcoin NFTs? I don't know. But supposedly on the blockchain, you can inscribe a picture or a font, characters, whatever, to create an image, basic image. I don't think it can be too elaborate. And it's clogging half of the Bitcoin blockchain, supposedly. So inscriptions, I don't know when they inscribed a few years ago, but they really picked up during this bubble. The last bubble we had NFT. ETH NFTs that picked up and sold NFTs basically were the big ones. And now people are saying Bitcoin NFTs are coming, but you're like, hey, Bitcoin doesn't have NFTs. They're not a smart chain. How do you get NFTs? Well, two ways. You can wrap. You can do like a, a wrapper around the NFT and place it on the Bitcoin blockchain, which I think was what Blockstacks did or STX. 
a Satoshi Satoshi Bowls were the first NFTs to be wrapped and crossed from ETH to Bitcoin. And then we had native Bitcoin NFTs. Are they native? Uh, yeah, so the inscription on the blocks, the first 10,000 blocks to be inscribed or NFTs to be inscribed on the blockchain are worth like five or ten thousand dollars each the big ones one just sold for eighty five thousand or ninety thousand uh, a couple days ago and it's crazy because it was an animated uh grayscale sort of gif of the dots moving around the white lines something whatever it's hype because it's new so tradfi the, the the number one crypto kitties holder who has two hundred thousand Crypto Kitties, they made an NFT called TradFi in December, it's December 18th, I think. It took a while to mint out, 500. It was only 0.01 ETH. I got shielded, I avoided it because I just wasn't into dump NFTs. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then two days ago, which would be Tuesday, it ran, they announced that everyone who holds a TradFi, one of the 500 supply, is gonna get a sub 10K inscription because the Crypto Kitties guy has 500 or 1,000 of the sub 10k scripts and there's like ens the first 